These peanut butter cookies have become a tradition in our family for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to show you how to make the cookies. Uh, first, what you're going to want though, I uh, see I like to eat real peanut butter, but um, for these cookies and for baking, just use regular, I guess, processed peanut butter. <laughs> and you'll also want to get some of the standard, you know, foiled red solid chocolate hearts. So that's what you're going to need for later. Okay, so to start this recipe off, first you're going to put your oven to 350. Then you're going to blend together one cup of butter and two cups of peanut butter. Trexie, you want to say hi? Say hi. He's my little helper today. Okay, so once that's creamed, you're going to then add in one cup of white sugar and one cup of brown sugar. All right, next you're gonna beat in two eggs. I use two large eggs. And then one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, last but not least, we are going to blend in two teaspoons of baking soda and two cups of all-purpose yeah. flour. Is it looking good? Yeah? <laughs> okay, so I have them here on the parchment paper. So you'll see that this dough is very, um, like it's sticky. It's not a firm cookie dough, so it's hard to roll into balls. You can have to the drop with a spoon or with your fingers. And it's a very large batch. So if you want to half it, if you don't have a large family, then just cut this recipe right down in half. Otherwise, keep it as is and have a lot of cookies. So yes, don't worry if or when your cookie dough is very soft, um, it's correct. <laughs> That's how the cookies are going to be really soft and moist. Okay, so now we're going to put these in the oven and bake them for eight to nine minutes. And then as soon as they come out of the oven, we're going to put one of these unwrapped chocolates on top of it right away. I think Trexan's starting to get them ready. Are you getting the chocolates ready? Yeah? <laughs> okay. All right, so you want to take them out when they start to get just a little bit golden brown. And when they come out, because I can't do the normal cross hatches with the fork, with the dough being so soft that you see on traditional cookies, uh, peanut butter cookies, what I do is when they come out, I just give them a little pat with a fork and it makes it look a little more traditional. And then I use a little bit of sugar and I just sprinkle it on the cookies. Okay, so as soon as that's done, you're gonna take your normal plain chain chocolate hearts and you're just gonna place approximately in the middle and give it a tiny push. And what I particularly just love about this process is you see these hearts go from kind of scratched up, you know, scraped chocolate hearts to within a little bit of time from the heat becoming smooth and glossy. It's really cool to see. So I'll give that a couple minutes and I'll show you what it looks like. And ta-da, look how pretty they look. Aren't those nice? Anyways, I'm gonna leave the rest of them to bake when my kids come home so they can help. And I always do a few just plain peanut butter because they're really good on their own as well. So I hope you enjoy and maybe they'll become a little Valentine's tradition for your family too.